and I thought, okay, so there's my answer. I have to make art. I have to be an artist. And walking away from it is off the table. Hey everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery, which is really all about owning your authenticity and understanding how your voice determines your particular use of visual language and then how you want to show up in the world as an artist. The answer to that question is limitless and entirely depends on who you are as a person, where you are in your life, and how art fits into your life. So to that end, I'm going to share a story with you that I think many of you can relate to, and it's about what happens when you're making, most of the work that you're making, you really dislike, or you go from feeling really good about your work, all of a sudden to feeling like, ugh, nothing seems to be working. Nothing is, is uh, connect, I'm not connecting to anything. And feeling despondent or feeling um, really stuck and then starting to question, why are you even making art in the first place? So the story I want to tell you about is actually a conversation I had with someone who's working with me in a one year artist mastery mentor program, mentorship program. And I'm sharing it because I think it's, I know it's um, a story that every single artist who goes deep, who's serious about what they're doing, myself included, I have gone through this many, many times. And so what we were talking about is how she was feeling very, her word was despondent. I feel despondent about my work. I feel like giving up. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time. I'm wasting a lot of money. I'm wasting everybody's energy by me talking about my work, wasting my own energy, her own energy. And why am I even doing this? And I said, do you know how many times I've asked myself that question? Do you know how many times I've tried to walk away from being an artist? Tried to be an interior designer, tried to be a graphic designer, tried to be a business development person, tried to do all these other things, which I will not list all of them <laughs> because there are many of them. And finally, the last time I just felt like throwing in the towel and I'd had a fair amount of professional success. I'd shown in major cities, including New York and LA and San Francisco. And um, my work is in some very big corporate collections. Many people have bought my work and put them in their own private collections. And yet I just, you know, it was at a point where no one was knocking at the door. I had very little money in my business checking account. And I thought, why am I doing this? And just at that very minute, I kid you not, a phone call came in from an art consultant saying that she'd been following me. I had not heard of this art consultant before. And she wanted to come see my work. She thought my work would be perfect for a particular project. And she bought several pieces. And I thought, okay, so there's my answer. I have to make art, I have to be an artist, and walking away from it is off the table. And I told this to the person who's working with me, and I said, so, at this point in this conversation, can you honestly say that you're ready to walk away from making art permanently? And she said, well, I've already tried to do that once and it didn't work, because here I am. No, I'm unable to stop making art. So I said, okay, what happens then? What are you gonna do now? I mean, so you feel like you're stuck, you're unhappy with what you're doing, and yet you're unable to stop making art. What I've come to understand 
is that when you feel that way, when I feel that way, it means that we're letting go of where we've been and we're moving on to something new. And so we find ourselves in limbo, we find ourselves in transition without really having an understanding of that's what's happening because we've stopped liking what we do, we stopped feeling like there's joy in the creation of work and it feels like it's never going to end. And I'm here to tell you that it does end. It's a teaching time in our practice as artists. It's a teaching time to go deeper, wider in our expression, and own a greater understanding of our authentic voice. What is that? That can also shift. And so rather than continuing to use words that make you feel bad, like despondent or feeling stuck or you know this is ridiculous I can't do this anymore you know those can't words those don't words they really count they really um, put a barrier between your being able to go forward and where you are at that point so I suggest that when you're in a place like this you start thinking, you acknowledge, okay, this, this is hard. And maybe I just need to you know, walk away from the studio for a few days, a few months. I've walked away from the studio for a couple of years. George O'Keefe did too. Many artists have. Many artists have to paint every single day. The point is to start understanding what your rhythm is. Do you need to take breaks? Do you find yourself in a place of suddenly or eventually feeling like what you're doing no longer makes sense to you? If you do find yourself in that place, rather than feeling despondent, check in and say, okay, maybe I'm leaving where I've been in my visual language and my voice. Maybe my voice is interested in going someplace new. So what could that be? And that's when you start going on another one of your little personal treasure hunts, trying to figure out, okay, what's catching me? What's happening in the world that I am feeling so deeply and want to express in my work? What's happening around me in terms of the scenery and people I'm interacting with? What's happening inside? You have, if you're in a very deeply emotional time of grief, sadness, anger, great joy or euphoria, how does that inform your work? Those way or that way of thinking, thinking about those things that are catching you in your life, they can be the clue to where you need to go either right now or where you're going in your ultimately how your voice informs the way you continue to use color, line, shape, value, and texture. So I would really love to hear from you in the, the chat feed below this video. What happens when you feel stuck? What do you do? Have you ever felt this way? Do you feel this way all the time? Has what I'm talking about been helpful to you? to help you get out of that stuck place or to just cheer you on and to you know, realize that you're not alone out there and that this happens to any artist who's worth their salt, which most people are in that category. So if you're interested in learning more about how to work in a mentorship with me, I invite you to go to the Whole Artist Mastery website and look at the mentorship page, sign up for a complimentary conversation if the descriptions of the program sound like they're offering what you're looking for. I'd love to talk to people about where they're going, what they're needing help with, and then I share 
with you how I work with people and what the programs entail. So do that, enjoy, continue to watch the, the YouTube channel, the whole Artist Mastery YouTube channel. I love having you participate in the conversation. And um, so I look forward to seeing you in the next conversation.